Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksness here, back with another Call of Duty mobile video. Now, before we go on, I just wanna let you guys know we are currently live on trovo.live slash Hawksness, basically just where I'm live streaming every single day. And as you guys can tell, obviously we have a lot of viewers right here just saying hi YouTube. So if you guys ever wanna be the part of a video or a part of a future video, definitely make sure to go ahead and uh, follow on Trovo and have notifications on so that you guys can join as soon as we start up the streams. Also, I do really quickly want to mention that this video is sponsored by COD Mobile. So massive thank you to COD Mobile for actually sponsoring this video. If you guys want to check out the game, the link will be down below. But anyway, as you guys can see, the uh, the game just updated and we got a brand new lucky draw. I think it's called the Dive Dive Draw. You can kind of see it in the background. But uh, as you can tell, we do have a UL736 skin as well as a character skin. I think Archangel. Dude, I never know how to pronounce that word. I think it's Ar Archangel or something like that. Uh, but it says, someone's got to win this war, boys. Uh, so let's go ahead and skip through and actually go to the lucky draw so we can check out the new skins. Again, I think it's a UL736 and then the character. And then maybe there's like one kind of cool epic skin in there. Because I know like with the color spectrum draw, they had the ICR color spectrum in that. Uh, so I think they're starting to do like inside of lucky draws, like having the main legendary skin. And then also having some kind of cool epic one in there as well. So excited to see what that one is because you can't see it from like the, the preview. Okay, so it seems like the cool epic skin that I was talking about is going to be the S36 dive bomb. Uh, which is a blueprint and it is animated you can't see like the, the shark biting so that's pretty cool and i'm pretty sure you can see the attachments but yeah you can do this you can also zoom in on the gun and everything so uh pretty cool skin here with the s36 i haven't really looked into the s36 so i don't know if it's a, a good gun anymore or not really anymore because i guess it was kind of bad prior to the update but curious to see if they made it um back to its original form but as you can tell the main like thing inside of this lucky draw is going to be the ul736 depth charge it is legendary, so you can see it does have that unique crosshair. It has the death animation on the bottom, which basically looks like looks like they explode and then like wind goes around them. Oh no, they explode and then the gun like blows out fumes, kind of like a. That's actually really gnarly. I like that animation, although it might get kind of annoying when you're trying to fight multiple people, and then as soon as you kill one person, your screen is completely covered in just like fumes or smoke or whatever. But mainly, you want to check this out because the iron sights. You can also see the chain moves around, which is sick. Uh, but anyway, I don't have much CP, so let's go ahead and buy some real quick. Um, there's also this emote, May 80. Oh, is that loud? Oh, dude, if that was really loud, that'd actually be kind of fun to troll people with. Uh, and then Dive Bomb Pistol, which is pretty cool. And then the Charm and the, the Calling Card and all that. But anyway, let's go ahead and buy CP real quick. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to be going for the, the Depth Charge. Obviously, the skin, Emma Victoro Victorova Arcane. Dude, I'm not even going to try it. Let's just go ahead and open this. I can't pronounce stuff for my life. Oh, we actually have the pistol. If I was just willing to spend 50 CP, I actually would be pretty satisfied with that. Honestly, everything in the Lucky Jaw is pretty good. Like, I think there's a smoke. Or no, there's a there's a frag grenade. I wouldn't really want that. I wouldn't really care for the backpack. The sticker is probably the worst thing. Everything else I'd be totally fine with. I'd say the, the emote's probably the next worst. Because I definitely like the charm. That looks pretty cool. And then everything else is definitely like the, the main appeal of the, the lucky draw. Second one, probably gonna be the sticker. Nah, it's the nade. Yo, is that a new lucky draw sound? I don't remember the last lucky draw I opened, but there's like a little like ding. I don't think I've ever heard that before. Yeah, that, that's definitely a new sound, 100%. Ding. And so we got the emote. Can't you put sprays on your guns? I think you can now. I think that's like part of the, the customization. Got the glide bomb calling card, 1300, and we still have four items left now. Oh, we actually got the, the character skin, kinda early on. I guess like, I don't know, that's probably like my least favorite of these four things to be honest, but getting it that early on wasn't that bad. I think we spent like probably 2000 CP for her, so that's not brutal. That's like 20 bucks, I guess, roughly, for a character skin, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. 2000 now so basically everything after this is when the price really goes up the 2000 cp for the die bomb s36 blueprint i really like the shark bite i really like when there's like animated parts of the skin that are just like something like i don't know like it just looks like it's i don't know i don't know how to explain it it just looks cool it has this really cool animated feel to it uh next one we're gonna get probably gonna be the charm i'd imagine yeah it's the depth charge i really want to see how the iron sights feel also, as you can tell, we got the cool animation on it as well. Oh, look at the background. That's actually kind of sick. All right, so let's go ahead and, and equip them real quick. So we got the, the female skin. I forgot her name. Victoria, I think. Oh, Archangel. Okay, we got her. Customized. Do the Emma Vic, Vic, Victorova one. <laughs> I can't say her name at all, dude. 
all right that and then go ahead and put on the ul 736 one thing that does suck is i doubt i'll be able to maximize it although it is a blueprint so i don't really have to level it um I think you'll still get the death animation even if it's not leveled. I'm not 100% sure, but I also have like no weapon XP card, so we'll see. Go ahead and go to Gunsmith, UL736 Adept Charge, go ahead and confirm. Uh, we have all five attachments. It looks like we have the RTC 25.4 inch. Uh, so this is basically just gonna help us with our range as well as our uh, recoil kinda, but it does reduce our mobility a little bit. So like movement speed and ADS speed. So definitely making this a little bit more of a, a slower LMG. Uh, the steady stock is doing the exact same thing. So boosted accuracy once again, um, granulated grip tape, exact same thing, just kind of killing our mobility um exact same thing bigger magazine but we're reducing our movement speed and ads speed and then stealth kill uh hide enemy death sharing okay so that's the same perk that you mostly get on like all the lmgs or at least the like legendary lmgs i believe so yeah as you can tell stats on the right getting basically tanked mobility but control range and accuracy all getting buffed so definitely going to be a very campy lmg not something you rush with the whole ton uh, which is interesting because the, the iron sights are definitely like a more aggressive type iron sights i guess just because they don't seem like something that'd be amazing at long range but i definitely could be wrong we'll have to hop into a game and see what that looks like but uh should be good here's the skin a little bit more zoomed in but let's go ahead and enable that i think i have it equipped okay yeah we got that equipped in terms of the perks we're not going to be very aggressive um so i don't know about lightweight i think skulker might be the better move just so we can strafe a little bit better um toughness i I don't know. Let's do Ghost. I feel like Ghost wouldn't be bad. And then Dead Silence is just kind of like a, a requirement at this point. Then we got a Molly. Throw, go ahead and throw down a trophy system because we're probably going to be pretty campy, I guess. And then right now, the Molly is just meta, so we're going to keep that on. Then do the Battle Dress because I haven't used that yet. And then everything else, I don't really care. Um, if we want to be super toxic, we do the, the Transform Shield. All right, so there's all of that. I think the first thing we'll hop into, we'll probably do two games. We'll probably do one ranked game and then one like uh, 1944 uh shipment mode just because this is like super hectic and all that so should be pretty entertaining then i definitely want to test it out a little bit more in ranked where it's a little bit more competitive uh so yeah let's go ahead and hop into this first all right, here we go here's the iron sights yeah that's really clean i like that oh okay that it yo okay that is gnarly dude oh no this is hard point i thought it was i thought it was rapid fire i just saw the 150 and thought it was okay that makes makes more sense Bro, okay, that's not that annoying because it goes on the sides, but it is kind of intrusive. But it's really gnarly, bro. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. That's really fun. Pretty creative. Okay, the recoil on this thing is non-existent, dude. The recoil control is so easy. Oh, I gotta reload. No! Okay, we're at the Merciless. Okay, the iron sights on this are sick. The side fumes are definitely intrusive, but again, I kind of like them. I'm not gonna lie. Like, with the, the GKS Unicorn, like, I thought that was pretty intrusive, how it would, like, level up every time. Um, but I also didn't think it was cool. Whereas this one, I think it's cool and intrusive, so definitely don't have a too big of a problem with it. It would suck, though, if someone's, like, flanking me. We'll see how it goes in the competitive. Because right now in a pub, when we're, like, facing bots and, and not that great players, like, it's not, it's not a problem. Dude, the recoil on this is, like, literally non-existent. I swear to you. Woo! Go ahead and throw down the counter real quick. I don't want to get flanked. It's shipment, so I got to be like, yep. There we go. The mobility is not that bad. It feels like normal LMG mobility, but that's also because the UL736 has really good mobility. So it was it was nerfed a little bit through the, the attachments that we added. Okay, we're like right on a nuke. We're like two off, so I'm going to play a little bit slower here. There we go. Why is that invisible? I like it, chat. What do we think? What do we think? Uh, hope we get smacked by a care package. Nah, no way. Again, this is just a pub, so nothing crazy there, but we're gonna see if we can do the same in rank, hopefully. Dude, I like this a lot. Is the gun changing as we get kills or not? There we go, got a nice little screenshot. Oh, and also the fumes went out when we got the nuke, too. This is sick. I actually really like this. This is really fun. I'm out of ammo. And the gold SMRS comes out. No! Okay, we didn't even get to use it. What is this? It's a brand new skin. Double nuke? Oh, let's do it? Yeah? Yeah, I don't know if I'll have time. Let's try it. Let's try it, though. It's a pub, so again, we're not going to be really proud if we do get it. Like, I have a gold skin. Might be a bot with a gold skin. I don't know if there those exist. Dude, I... Oh, that's not a... 
Thought that was an enemy for a sec. Close a teammate. Dude, these iron sights are really clean. Again, we'll see how it goes in um whatever it's called. That one mode. Ranked. But right now it's sick. The lag! Oh. Reload here. How big is our mag? 60 is it? That's not bad. No! Oh. Thought I was about to get killed by that one thing. <laughs> Dude, they... Again, it's intrusive, but it's not brutally in my face. Because luckily it goes on the sides. But yeah, like, as soon as I start killing people, I can't see anything on the, the sides. My peripheral vision is just tanked. Eh. Yo! No! Oh, the spawn. I think there's some real people in here. It is a lot of bots, though. Let's go. We're at the Ruthless, so we're like, what, five away off the double nuke? Oh. That's a kick you nine! Oh! Oh, I got a beat toss. No, 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 I gotta get one more, I gotta get one more. I don't see anyone. Stop killing people! Bro! No! Oh, we got the nuke. We got the nuke. Okay, okay. We double nuke. We double nuke. Right when I ran out of ammo. Let them sit on the hard point for a sec. Don't cap it. Don't cap it. Aha! Let it go off. 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 Everyone's gonna slow down in a second. Let's go, we got the double nuke. Get the screenshot of the gold. Oh, we didn't get to see the fumes. Let's go. Get wrecked, bots, get wrecked. Y'all suck. I have no ammo. Oh, and there it goes. That's three nukes in this game, lol. It's a pub, so I mean, who cares? But whatever. All right, let's win the game real quick. GG's. Yeah, definitely camp with this. This is not a very aggressive UL. The UL is typically pretty aggressive because it has good mobility, but this turns it more to a campy style. I don't know. So last imp or final impressions is it's interesting because the weapon is built to not be an aggressive gun, but the iron sights are very aggressive iron sights. So it's kind of counteracts each other in a way, kind of weird. Uh, but overall, pretty fun. I like the animation. Uh, animation also makes it hard to play aggressive. I, I really love the animation. I really love the skin, iron sights, and the, the gunsmith build. Again, kind of counteract each other, kind of opposites. So, kind of interesting. Uh, but I do think it's like kind of maybe like of a more mid-range gun. It's definitely really solid for sure. Although, I, I'm just not a massive fan of the UL. If they put that on like the RPD or the chopper or something, that'd be really sick. Um, I definitely gotta try the UL out a little bit more and try to figure out exactly how to play around that weapon. Because that's been one of the weapons I just never touched, ever. I bet Noah would be pretty good with it. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And with all of that being said, definitely make sure to drop a like and a sub down below if you did. And also check out my Trobo so you guys can be one of the people spamming down below in chat. But yeah, see you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace.